Hi, my name is Miguel from avoidarrows.net. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to dual boot Windows XP and Windows 8 Developer Preview. To start, we need to partition the hard drive. And to partition the hard drive, we need a free program called Partition Manager. The link is in the description box below. And remember, it's free. So once you have downloaded the uh, Partition Manager program and installed, just double click to run. Now this here is my hard drive. I'm going to right click and then click on resize move partition. This is a 60 gigs hard drive and this is the amount of space used. Now to create a partition or resize the partition all you need to do is grab the handle and just make it smaller now you can't make it smaller than the amount of space used on the hard drive so I'm going to resize my partition leaving 40 gigs for my XP operating system and 20 gigs for me to install Windows 8 right here now click on OK and then click on apply You don't have to put a check mark where it says shut down the computer after changes are applied unless you want to. And then click on yes. And then click yes so the changes can take effect. When the computer restarts, it, it will start creating the partition. It does it really fast. I'm not even going to pause it. I'm going to let you see the entire process. Done. It didn't take more than 20 25 seconds to do this. Now, when the computer restarts, it will be fully partitioned okay now uh, right click my computer to uh, verify everything is correct and then click on manage here click on this management and here is the 20 gigs unallocated space and the 40 gigs uh, XP operating system now I'm going to install this uh, Windows 8 on the 20 gigs I created. Now keep in mind you can create a new partition, you can rename it, but the most important part here is that you can recognize the difference between the drive C and the unallocated space in the installation of Windows 8. So keep that in mind. Now place the Windows 8 CD in the drive and restart the computer. When you restart the computer, it should ask you to boot from CD or DVD. Press Enter key. If you don't see the boot from CD or DVD, like you see here, press any key to boot from CD or DVD, I have a link in the description box that can help you. I have many links that can help you. Install Windows 8. Now here, click on Next and then click on Install Now then enter Windows 8 product key and click on next then accept the uh, license term and agreement and then click on next here choose custom install and here's the reason why you needed to identify the partitions because you might install Windows 8 on the current Windows XP partition so if you can't tell the difference or you don't you can't identify the partition you have created do not proceed from here now this one here is the partition I have created to install Windows 8 select it and then click on next now I'm going to fast forward the installation process but I'm gonna leave it there so you can see it 
Remember, when it restarts, do not press enter when it asks you to press any key to boot from CD or DVD. In the installation process, it'll probably restart two to three times. Keep in mind I have several links in the description box that can help you. Remember, do not press any key to boot from CD or DVD. OK, perfect. Now we can choose which operating system do we want to boot. Since uh, we are installing Windows 8, I'm going to go ahead and finish the installation on the Windows 8. So I'm going to boot up the uh, Windows 8. This is normal procedure for Windows 8 installation. And from here on is mostly self-explanatory. Type your name. Uh, I'm going to use Express Settings. Type the username. And then click on Finish. Perfect. Now we have Windows 8 installed. Now all you need to do is remove the disk from the drive and then restart the computer. When you restart it will give you the option to start Windows 8 or to start from Windows XP. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions please feel free to post them in the comment section below. To remove Windows 8 is not as easy as right click delete. So I'll create a future video uh, showing you guys how to completely remove Windows 8 from a partition.